first thing you ought to know about sketching is that your lines are okay to overlap. There's no need to match them up perfectly. Another thing about lines, who cares if they're straight? We've been trying way too hard for too long to draw straight lines. Since when can anyone draw a straight line on the first try anyway? I sure can't. So all we have to do is go over the same line again and again until we get it right. Then just hide the mistakes with a little texture and we'll just call the rest character. To give your lines even more character, take a pause or hesitate a bit and let the ink bleed a little. And finally, don't forget your professional dot. That's right, it's a dot at the end of the line and it's what makes every sketch mm, sketchy. So to start off, start by holding your pen very loose. So loose it could fall out of your hands at any moment. Just let it rest in your fingers and relax. Oh yes, and when you want to draw a tree, just start scribbling. Scribble away until you come up with something that resembles a tree, a tree shape. Then add some more scribbles and some more scribbles until it looks even more like a tree. And oh yeah, it's not really a tree until we've added a trunk. So add some lines here and there's a trunk. Now it looks like a tree, right? And trees, well, they have a little shadow on them, right? So let's add some shadows by simply hatching the underside of the tree and one side. I just use angular lines perpendicular to one another to make shadows. And some on the trunk. And no tree just grows out of thin air. So let's let's give it a base with a little grass or something. And why not a horizon line in the background to give us some context. To start your rendering and to do it outside the lines, flip your sheet over and start off with a very light base color. Notice how I just color wherever I want? Yeah, that's how you do it. Pick another shade darker while the paper's still wet and let's add some more value. I add this in somewhat of a similar uh, broad angular strokes and a few dots and blotches here and there which I'll do with every color from here on out. Then you want to grab some green because trees aren't brown at least the pretty ones in pictures are not brown so let's make this tree pretty by adding some green and while the paper is still wet this color blends pretty well with with the color the base colors below it and add a few more blotches then we'll go one shade darker with another green again just adding a gradient of value from um, our base color which was lighter and we move to darker colors as we go along. Lighter colors allow you to add value as you go. If we started off with a dark green, it would be really hard to add any light colors later on. So we start light and work our way to the dark colors. And the dark colors are mostly in the shadows and underside of the tree. So we'll add a few there and dot and speckle and do some squigglies and just scribble away like you have not a care in the world. Then I come in with a bright color something like pink, purple, orange, something bright to offset all the green and buff that's going on. But we don't want to add too much of it. But then I come back in with the buff color and sort of blend in that pink so they're not just dots that they sort of blend in with the rest of the leaves and foliage of the tree and now all those colors which are still wet can be blended together by just broad strokes over top of the whole thing
How does it look?